Now that lockdown seems to be relaxing all over the world, it has been recommended that we wear material masks when out of the house. There are many, many DIY tutorials on YouTube with regards to material masks. And my only worry is how protected are we actually? So I would like to do a little bit of a test on these masks just to see if the particles actually get through. The general dust particles of the atmosphere is between 0.001 and 30 microns. You cannot even see these particles unless the sun is shining on them. The corona particles are 0.06 to 0.14 microns. I have to check to make sure I've got it right. Um, and to, to prove to you, a human hair is between 60 and 120 microns. So it shows you how small that particle actually is. And we might think that we're not feeling anything coming through, but we could be at home. The particles of an antiperspirant are between 6 and 10 microns. And I'm going to be using this just to show, even though it's a lot bigger than the general corona particles, try to give you a little bit of a picture of, of smaller particles going through the masks. Along with that, I will be trying to blow out a um, lighter just to see how much air actually does blow through that mask if we are protected or not. I'm going to test the FFP2 masks just as a control. This is not homemade, it's just to try and show you um, how it really should be. These are the recommended masks. So let's check this one. One of the recommendations is a scarf or a bandana, so let's try it. The problem with this is it tends to slide around a lot, so you'll constantly be touching your face, which is probably our biggest form of infection at this stage. So I'm not really sure how safe it would be from a wearing perspective. It's easy to come by, it's um, no work, no effort to have to make it but I'm not sure if it's ultimate protection. Nope. I'll just show you one layer. Particles go straight through. Our next option is a paper towel. Um, Items that are easy to come by, easy to put together, uh, not expensive. The only problem is I'm not sure how robust it will be and if it will actually protect us from anything. Let's see. It's already broken. Seems to be holding up. And the particles don't really go through. I didn't think that this one was going to work. So I made one that was a little bit more robust. I folded it into pleats that there were more layers, double layered it. And I thought we'll try that one out. Just as easy to make, same items, let's test it. So far, our paper towel seems to be holding up. And no particles seem to be going through. Not a bad option. My next mask was probably the fastest and easiest one to make. The only problem I had was finding a sock that was long enough. And it's not very pretty when on and it has a piece of paper in the middle which is quite hard and pressure against your face when wearing it. I'm assuming with the paper it should pass the test. Definitely passes the flame test. And pop. 
compost is a anti-perishment test. What I would suggest is perhaps rather using the paper towel that now that we've tested and see it goes well, um, as it might be a little bit more comfortable and, and more foldable around your face. The next item was easy in that it's a no sew option, but um, you do need to have a shirt that you're prepared to cut up. It's made out of a t-shirt. It took a little bit longer than the sock, but still not too long. My only issue is that it's quite loose around your nose, so chances are very likely you will keep pulling it up or adjusting it. So as with a bandana, you'll be touching your face more often, which is not safe for you. We'll test with the lighter. Passes the lighter test. And now we'll test with the antiperspirant. Also seems to be quite safe. I think the important thing is the amount of layers. Just make sure you are not just one layer of co cotton as I don't think that will protect you as much. Two layers are definitely necessary. Let's try get it in through one layer. Also straight through. The next item is made out of a bra. Um, it actually fits quite comfortably and it doesn't look too bad if you're fine with wearing your underwear on your face. It was quick and easy to make. The only problem might be the cost thereof and I'm not sure how many men will be wanting to wear this on their face. So, As I say, really is comfortable. It covers everything. I don't feel the need to adjust it the whole time. Passes the flame test. And it passes the aerosol test. This is my favorite of the DIY masks in that it looks the least homemade. You can make it in whichever color and pattern that you want. It's just plain cotton material that most of our moms have lying around the house. It did take a little bit more um, skill in order to get the pleats in that right, but it's double layered and it managed to come out right in the end. At the moment, I have a filter inside with my paper. The flame hardly moves. And it passes the aerosol test. What I would like to do is take the filter out and test it without, as I'm not sure if this material will actually protect you enough without it. And you can see some aerosol coming through the other side. So very important with this one, if you are making it, you have to put a filter on the inside. If they had gauze on the inside, I do not have gauze, so paper towel or paper would be the best option. Due to the fact that I already had a cotton mask, I wanted to try a silk one. This was also a relatively easy mask to make. It was with a plate cutting it out. 
um, in a circle. The only issue is with the silk, it's very soft material, so it tends to be pulling apart a little bit. Nice thing is you don't need a sewing machine, you can do it by hand. Um, I'm just not sure how protected we will be without a filter. It does not have any areas for you to put a filter in. Silk seems to be holding up with the flame test. And with the aerosol test. So my recommendation would be is possibly to make my previous mask with silk rather than cotton. My last mask made the most sense in that it's made out of a vacuum bag. A vacuum bag tends to keep 95 to 99% of particles from coming out. It needs to be breathable for the air to be able to go through and most of them um, advertise that up until 0 0.01 microns actually stay in. So it did seem to be the most feasible of the masks. I was not able to get the material bag as what they've um, got on the tutorial just with us being on lockdown so I've made one with a paper bag it's not as um, good looking or comfortable as what the the material one does look but let's test it I must admit, I've worn a duck mask in the hospital. They are not the most comfortable of masks, but they do cover absolutely everything. I feel very safe in this mask, so we'll just have to see if it holds up with the, with the two tests. No movement on our flame. seems the aerosol is only coming out of the areas that I have made holes to sew in. I would definitely like to try and make this mask in the material one to test its feasibility but for now um, the paper bag I would say doesn't work. It was more difficult to try and sew it and get it all together. So material mask is probably best but right now I feel more comfortable with one of my other masks. So with my overall review, um, I would not make the round mask again. It was a little bit more difficult to line edges up. I would definitely, definitely make this mask. This is probably, as I say, number one. The fact that it's held up well, even with my filter in. It's easy to take a filter out, throw it in the wash and, and um, wear it again. The bra was also a definite um, comfort mask, definite protection. I would not easily make the sock one again just because I will probably be wearing it in public as well as the paper towel as much as what it held up. Um, I don't know if I'd like to go out into public with the paper towel. What we can do however is put the paper towel in this mask and know we are protected. The t-shirt as well as much as what it covered me it does look very homemade and we would not like to go into public with it. I would definitely not be doing the bandana and I would like to review this one and try to do it again in the in the material bag once lockdown is over.